1988, physicist Stephen Hawking published A Brief History of Time, a best-selling book that finally explained complex quantum physics to the layman. Selling over 10 million copies, it helped usher in a new age of scientific curiosity and inspired countless individuals to pursue a career in the field. But now Stephen Hawking is dead. He'll never be able to teach us any more secrets of the universe. So, uh, here's a video about parrots in the Donkey Kong series. First appearing solely in the Donkey Kong Country stage Torchlight Trouble, Squawks began his career as the con's least impressive animal buddy. A diminutive young parrot whose only skill was holding a flashlight, which wasn't even necessary in the Game Boy Advance version, Squawks was noteworthy only as trivia for die-hard fans of the game. Out of all five original animal buddies, even Expresso had more of an impressive first year than Squawks. Expresso. But, like the 1994 CBS sitcom Daddy's Girls, starring Dudley Moore and Harvey Firestein, that success wouldn't survive to the fall of 1995. Sick burn on Daddy's Girls. In that way, Squawks was like rival Wednesday night ABC sitcom star Ellen DeGeneres. Something that started small but gradually grew to become beloved by people of all walks of life, housewives, the unemployed, world leaders, and Portia de Rossi. No, wait. I guess she would like Expresso instead. 1995's Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest saw Squawks grow, both literally and figuratively, into a more important role. Returning alongside Rambi and Engard, with both Winky and Expresso enslaved by Cranky, Squawks skyrocketed to prominence as one of the most important animal buddies in the series. Now strong enough to carry Diddy and Dixie, he also had the rather remarkable talent of spitting. Eggs? But where do the eggs come from? Isn't Squawks a male? And birds don't tend to lay eggs through their mouth. However, the evidence doesn't lie, as this helpful diagram found in the Nintendo Power Player's Guide proves. Donkey Kong Country 2 also saw the debut of a mysterious purple parrot. Make that two mysterious purple parrots. In the stage parrot shoot panic. Unnamed by all Western source materials at the time, DK Vine founders took to calling them Squeaks and Flapper, thanks to the Swanky's bonus Bonanza multiple choice questions several worlds earlier. The Purple Parrots, believed to be distant relations to squawks residing on Crocodile Isle, like cousins or sexy grape flavored uncles, lacked the bird biceps that squawks developed lugging a flashlight around. So all they could do was gradually descend down a zinger hive with Diddy and Dixie in tow. They would return in Donkey Kong Land 2, where the cons could physically transform into them for the first time. The lengths Diddy and Dixie will go with their kinky role playing. As for why these two parrots couldn't even fly upward when they weren't hauling around monkeys? Maybe their wings were sticky. From all the honey, or from all of the role playing. <coughs> Meanwhile, K. Rool wasn't about to let the Kongs have three parrots in their garage without leasing one for himself. Since he was now fancying himself a pirate, K. Rool unveiled his own animal buddy, Screech the Parrot. Screech is in the grand tradition of dark mirror characters, like Bizarro, Bearded Spock, or Bloody Mary. <coughs> Donkey Kong Country 3 not only brought back Squawks, but Squeaks and Flapper as well. Squeaks appeared in the stage Low G Labyrinth, while Flapper was playable in Buzzer Barrage. We know it's Flapper here and not Squeaks because of his visible tattoo. This time around, Squeaks and Flapper were much improved, their past adventuring having led them to develop new skills much like Squawks had a year earlier. Now, they could actually fly upwards, as well as pick up and carry barrels. Let that sink in for a moment. When's the last time you've ever lifted a barrel? Or flown? That's right. A parrot is more athletic than you, you nerdy weakling. Jock's rule. Ha 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 ha. Only Squawks reappeared in Donkey Kong Land 3, 
as Squeaks and Flapper were presumably helping out Donkey and Diddy during their race to find the lost world of the Northern Hemisphere. Squawks was also mentioned in the storyline for Diddy Kong Racing, serving as Diddy's makeshift carrier pigeon after Timber sent one to Donkey Kong Island, requesting Diddy's aid in overthrowing the invading alien genie Wispig. This was later portrayed in Diddy Kong Racing DS's cinematic opening. That's right, kids. Back in the 1990s, this is how we communicated without cell phones. It's also how we all died from hemorrhagic bird flu. Squawks was only one of three returning animal buddies in Donkey Kong 64, although unlike Rambi and Ingard, he served no gameplay function. Instead, Squawks acted as a guidance tutor throughout the adventure. This also confirmed that Squawks, like many real-world parrots, is one of the only animal buddies with the ability to talk, a fact pushed through canon thanks to the entire development team of Donkey Kong 64 being comprised of exotic birds who had nested in rare headquarters. Of course, we also need to mention that Squawks was seen flying with other random parrots in DK64's opening. Who were they? More of the native bird population of Donkey Kong Island. Look, the Kongs don't keep all of them as animal buddies okay? They're not crazy animal hoarders. At least, not the ones who haven't died. Still, it's pretty embarrassing that these four left the house dressed exactly the same as Squawks. Who wore it best? 2007's Donkey Kong Burial Blast brought back both Squawks and Squeaks who was now given a canonical name as Quawks. To help align with the new naming convention, we also gave Flapper the new fanon name of Squawk, finally freeing up rebellious women of the 1920s from ever having to be confused with a mostly made-up character in a Donkey Kong video game. Back to Burial Blast. Here, Squawks and Quawks acted as items, with Quawks even taking on the job description of the dreaded wing blue shell from Mario Kart. Something I love masquerading as something I hate? Usually it's the other way around. We'll be right back after this commercial break. The classic Donkey Kong Country cartoon series is now available to stream on Amazon Video. Yes, Donkey Kong Country, where all of your favorite moments from the video game series come to life. Also starring Polly Roger, you can check out all 40 episodes now for only $48.99. Whoa! Hey Tropical Freeze, suck on that thick one! In 2010, Retro revived the Donkey Kong Country series. But apparently read on the internet that Rare still owned the Animal Buggies as they neglected to include anyone but Rambi and Squawks. Like in Donkey Kong 64, Squawks wasn't playable but still served an important role, helping to sniff out the hidden puzzle pieces throughout the game. Of course, to use him, you had to go through Cranky Kong, who was selling him for 15 banana coins. I know this sounds unethical, but Cranky does have a habit of using the animal buddies for his own financial purposes, like wagering espresso in underground ostrich racing, or that time he pimped Torco to lonely sailors. Cranky handed the keys to Squawks over to Funky Kong and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And now, with the Nintendo Switch version of the game, we're introduced to the latest parrot in the Donkey Kong series, Tox. Tox is Funky's own personal animal buddy, a parrot he trained and molded to be the son he never had. Besides the secret one he and Candy abandoned in the Mushroom Kingdom dumpster. <coughs> Using his vast wealth of knowledge, his significant engineering expertise, and the multitude of life lessons he's picked up throughout the years, Funky burned several hours of daylight exerting proper influence on talks. Ha, he's a parrot, but he's wearing sunglasses. Like, how did Funky find a pair that fit? Especially since birds don't have ears. Cough cough. Wait, aren't I also a parrot wearing glasses? Dude, why am I so hungry right now? I would totally eat that parrot's face. I bet I could get his entire head in my mouth. 
Bro, just watch. I'm going to do it. I'm going to eat that fucking parrot. 